everything has its time. Everything has its time. Welcome back, everybody. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed weekend as we thank the Most High for so much. Just so grateful. And also, our prayers are still going out to Houston. And uh, Big Brother P.P. Drones, I know you have a sister in Houston. Just want to let you know we still keeping her lifted up in prayer as well. Um, everybody, this is a shout-out video back to Brother Rodney, known as on her brother, P.P. Drones. So I'm going to do a little encouragement in this video. And it's not just for you, Brother P.P. Drones, but for whoever else is looking at this video that's been going through, you know, but now to the point where they know that everything has its time. So this is a dedication video back to you and also to others. So um, I'm going to do this video, and I believe this is Solomon, but um, I see where I can sit you off inside these scriptures, Brother P.P. P. Drawings, because of what I've been seeing going on in your life. Y'all, y'all don't understand, this brother here, uh, Brother Rodney, has been encouraging me on her for what, about a little over 10 years now. We've never met in person, but we connected spiritually. And uh, I just want to say, brother, I'm very proud of you. Um, that last video I looked at that you did, it hit home for me so hard. And I want to respond back with this, with the title, Everything Has Its Time, because you truly understand that. You've been encouraging me on her when it looked like nobody else even would. Um, you stuck with me. Stu you stuck with me when I even quit doing the piano tutorials, and you've been here from just day one. And you know that I've been listening at you for a long time, man. And um, I was that other video you did. You was talking about it was a video you did a while back, and you was talking about how y'all was trying to get this house, and everything was going wrong. And you, the money wasn't right, finances. You say everything was just messed up, jacked up, and you got the house anyway because of the favor that the Most High have on your life. You said everything was going downhill, but you kept activating God's system, and now you have your own business. Not too long ago, you wrote your own book. God is showing so much favor on you and your family, your wife, everybody. And I see it with my own eyes, even though I'm not down on where you at. But I want to say to you again, everything has its time. Now, I'm going back, Brother P.P. Drawings, to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And we're going to look at verses, uh, let's look at verses 1 through 15. Now, we all are familiar with this, but a lot of us don't understand this. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the what? Heavens. Now, what I want to point out to you, Brother P.P. P. Jones, as you already know, I'm not telling you nothing you don't already know. You know your spiritual seasons. So we always talk about, you know, winter, spring, summer, fall, the worldly way. But a lot of people don't understand the spiritual seasons in their life. And if you don't know where you at spiritually in the season that you own, you're going to be trying to do things at the wrong time. As the title says, once again, everything has its time. You got to know when it's your time. Somebody right now trying to pluck up what they haven't even planted. See, you knew, Brother P.P. Jones, every, once again, that everything there is a season. And it's your season. The Most High is showing you and revealing to you that it's your time and there is nothing nobody can do that can stop it. That's why you always know when to do things and when not. You know that everything on earth has its own time and its own season. Now let's look at verse 2. There is a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what you planted. You've been planting and planting and planting. And now it's time for you to pluck up, Brother P.P. Jones, what you planted. That's why you have that beautiful home now, as we see in the videos. That's why now you have your own business. That's why you wrote that book. It's 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 like, what else is going to happen with P.P. Drawings? Because he's steady activating. <laughs> God, system, I get happy doing videos like this. Now you are reaping what you sowed. See, a lot of people trying to reap, but what have they sowed? What have they planted? 
What have you did in your spiritual life while you sitting up praying and, and asking the Most High for everything? What is it that you're doing? As you always preach in your videos, what are you doing on your own? We always talking about, oh, if the Lord make, if I make one step, the Lord will make two. Somebody ain't even stepping at all, bro. Verse 3 say, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. You've been through so much. I remember times when you told me about how you had to go against your own family. But I looked at how you've been healed spiritually. You got sick not too long ago, and you said a brother, you and your, I think somebody at work or somebody, he went to the hospital and died. You look at you, you still hurt. Because you, you understand healing is, is not just physically. Spiritually is what you really need to be looking at. Because what good is it to be healed physically if you messed up spiritually? But see, you've been healed spiritually, brother. And you've been blessed spiritually, physically, financially, you name it. You are the example of, of, of real prosperity, being prosperous in all the areas of your life. Because now you are prospering in everything. And y'all remember you saying years ago, you just, you was following, following down the wrong path and messed up churches. But now look at you. Real prosperity. Your soul prospering. Mm. Your family prospering. Your finances is, is, is where they need to be. Ain't no telling what's next for you, but I'm so proud of you once again. Look at, look at verse 4. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. You know one thing I love about you, big brother? I don't even know when you're going through something because you always stay the same. I wouldn't know you're going through nothing unless you tell me because you always keep your head up and you always talking about activating God's system. That's all I've been hearing you talk about for the longest now is activating God's system. You got true joy. You pass happiness because a lot of people's happiness is, is, is based on circumstances. When things going good, they happy. But see, when things ain't going good for you, you got joy. You ain't worried about happiness. You got a peace of mind. You know when it's a time to laugh, and then you know when it's a time not to laugh, as the scriptures say. You know when it's a time to dance. You know when it's a time to just shut up. Even if you did weep before, I ain't never seen you weep long. Because you know it's just a season. It's a little time, and once it's over with, look at that. You remind me of Paul. You like a, a, a modern-day Paul because you you... You was a little rough around the edges, <laughs> but then still don't. I tell people all the time when you when you when you want to go up against people, draws with them coming and stuff. You better make sure you're ready, cause you strap down very hard with that word, and he don't have no Bible in his hand either. You know why? Cause the word is in your heart, brother, right there in your heart. I see you so many times leaving so many people encouragement, and so many people act like they have a problem with you because uh, he think he know it all or. He, man, he always, why he always come in, though? This brother, her, he, he, he's under the Holy Spirit. He know the difference between knowledge and wisdom. He know that knowledge and wisdom goes together. Let me move on. I can stay on that all day. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Embracing, excuse me. Brother, this you. You live these scriptures. And see, as I look at this, a time to cast away stones or rocks, you said something to me um, probably about five or six years ago that I never forgot in the comment. Because you told me to go outside and bury a rock in the ground. I know you remember this. And you said, go back out there and, make, and, and, and see if that rock going to still be there. And I did it, bro. And you know what? That rock was gone. Because you said in one of those powerful comments, even a rock will move. It won't stay in the same place long. You said, I, I, I dare you to go outside and, and, and put that rock in there. And there it was. I went out there and looked for that rock. Right when I buried it, I marked the place. Man, I even moved the dirt over more and more. Man, that rock probably was down the street somewhere. Some of us better be like that rock, brother, and keep moving. Let me go on to verse 6. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. See, there is a time for finding and losing in this life. 
Some of us keep trying to keep what we need to be losing. But see, you found the way, which is activating God's system. And this is what I loved about you people, joints. You let go friends. You let go certain churches, certain pastors. You let go kin folks. You, you let go whoever it was in your life you needed to let go to get to where you're at now. And you're not even looking back because you you just like Paul, I, I must press forward toward, toward the prize of the higher calling. I must stop looking behind and start concentrating on what's in front of me because, see, you're looking spiritually. That's why your faith level is way up there. Not little. All I need is a little faith. Now, nah, brother, you got faith as big as the sky plus more. 300 times. You remind me of that mustard seed because when a mustard seed when it grows up, it's the biggest. It becomes the biggest what? Because you kept on planting. Oh, brother, you don't have. Let me let me leave it alone. You don't have that, that little faith like 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 our Savior criticized his generation for having. Moving on to verse seven, a time to rent and a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak. See, you know all about this. A lot of y'all wonder sometimes, why is this brother so quiet? Let me tell you something about P.P. Jones, and I mean this in a good way out of love. When that man is quiet, that's a dangerous man. When he ain't saying a word, you better watch out. Because he knows it's a time to talk, as this scripture say, and it's a time to remain silent. And when he's silent, he's not only hearing, listening and hearing, he's activating He's doing. And somebody might be wondering, why the brother ain't did no video? Why the brother so quiet? If y'all, if anybody know P.P. Jones, I'm talking about brother Rodney, brother Rodney, excuse me. Brother Rodney stayed off from doing videos for a long time. But when he came back and started doing these videos, look at how powerful they was and look at what he was talking about. Why? Because he was remaining silent and he was meditating on the most high. Wasn't saying a word. Even I wonder sometimes, brother, why you, ain't, why you ain't coming back on camera? I used to tell you, brother, come on back on camera. But see, it wasn't about what I wanted. It wasn't about what time I wanted you to come back. You was following the most time. Now I see that. So you knew it was a time to listen. It was a time to stop talking. Look at verse 8. It says a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Sometimes you got to go to war just to make peace with your own family with your own church folks, with whoever in your life. See, you know that's a time. And then you know what I love about you too, you know when it's just time to move on. Verse 9, what profit had he that worked in that worth in? He labored. What do we gain by all of our hard work? When I look at verse 9, brother, this is you. Because look now at what all you have gained. But if you wouldn't have let go, all those people, all those messed up churches, messed up preachers, getting away from messed up people, period, co-workers, friends, false friends, you wouldn't be where you're at right now. See, you remind me of when, when, when our Savior said, in order to save your life, you must lose this life. A lot of people don't want to hear that because losing means losing all of that that I'm talking about that you lost. But in reality, what did you really lose? You gain. You gain so much. You gain so much wisdom. You gain so much more love. You you gain so much more encouragement. You start focusing so hard that a lot of people didn't understand it and still don't understand it. But if you didn't do that, you wouldn't be where you at now. Verse ten says, "I have seen the travail which God had given to the sons of men to be exercised in it." You have seen so many difficult things that the most high demands of us. And I know sometimes it's hard in this life to do certain things that it, it, it may be like, sometimes you may be even like, why am I going through this? But I'm going to be obedient anyway, even though it don't make sense. That's you, brother. Even if you don't understand it all, you keep moving. Verse 11 said, he had made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he had set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God make it from the beginning to the end. 
as I said in the title, everything has its time. The most high God makes everything happen at the right time on his time. Even if we can't fully understand it once again. The questions that's in our minds that we wonder about. The most high already know what we're thinking. That's why, brother, when I look at this scripture, remind me of you because to me, your mind is always going to the next level. It's constantly moving. What can PP Drawings do next? What is it that the Most High want him to do next? That's you. You study hard and you live it. The stuff you've been teaching and studying on, most preachers wouldn't even dare touch it. That's why I love tuning in to your channel. Verse 12, I'm going to try to wrap it up, brother. <laughs> I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. You rejoicing right now, bro. You rejoicing. Because once again, you are reaping all the benefits. I remember you saying years ago in one of your old videos, there are benefits in the Most High System. Amen, brother. Verse 13 says, And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of the, of God. Excuse me. Because you know that God's gift is so powerful. Just like you said in the comment a while back, most people don't even understand the power in their gift. See, you activating your gift. Look at you now. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. Minister of music, musician. This brother didn't even know how to play a piano. Didn't even, didn't even know where the on off button was. Look at the favor, man. Own business. House now. Husband. <laughs> I can I, I can just let me leave it alone because then I'll be putting too many titles on you, man. So you you know you know how it is. Let me leave it alone. But I'm proud of you once again. Verse 14 says, I know that whoso whatsoever God do it, it shall be forever forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it, and God do it, that men should fear before him. And this reminds me of you because you understand fear in the right way the Bible teaches. Fear as in having a reverence for the most high. Not fear as in if I don't serve him, he going to just kill me. You understand the fear of, of as the respect that we have toward our father. You give reverence. You put no man over the most high. Verse um, 15 says that which has been is now and that which is to be had already been and God required that which is past. In other words, everything that, that happens has happened already before. See, you understand all this, brother, because you remember when, when the Bible says there is nothing new under the sun. Everything we see in this life done already Somebody else done already been through it. So, with that being said, Brother PP John, I said I wasn't going to make this video. Try to keep it under 20 minutes. So, once again, much love, much respect to you. And, you know, anything you need, man, I got you, man. Uh, even though I'm down there in Dallas, Texas. And once again, my prayers are with your sister and, you know, whoever else. Your, your whole family, period, man. Uh, I just thank the Most High for you, man. And you keep on pressing on like you're doing because... I, I draw so much from your page, your comments when you send stuff to me. So we know what time it is, bro, and we know who the enemy is. But long as you got me and long as I got you, see, a lot of, I wish more men could be like this, man. This is love, bro. And I'm not, I, I, I know who I am as a man, and I'm not scared to say brother in front of the whole world. I love you. And this ain't no gay stuff. I love you. So y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day.